Geeta Mohan, a foreign affairs editor, is joining us and she is, in fact, right now in Moscow. Geeta, remember, has been reporting extensively on the story. She was in Ukraine and now has travelled to Moscow. Geeta, first of all, an update on the current situation in Ukraine and especially in the capital city of Kiev. Sneha, when we speak of Ukraine, uh, we, there are reports coming in that the Kyiv Oblast, that's Kyiv region, has is now under the control of Ukrainian forces. Uh, so that is uh, that is the high point of the uh, Ukrainian administration at this point in time. But that doesn't mean that there's ceasefire or that negotiations have made headway. In Moscow, in Russia, where I am, uh, the economic sanctions are being felt only in the uh, in in terms of the international brands that have shut shop and uh, international food outlets. I'm right outside uh, a McDonald's outlet and if you see over here, it's shut. Uh, what we've been told, it's very difficult to get people to talk to us, but what we've been told is that uh, the outlets over here have paid salaries of three months to the employees uh, so that they can, they can tide over the three months till the time this is shut. Uh, and then the, uh, then, then, then the authorities over here will decide as to how to continue uh, with the outlets with a change of name or for that matter uh, to see whether if there is going to be a resolution to the crisis. We do know that there are huge economic sanctions that, that have been put uh, on Russia and will Russia be ab able to tide over those sanctions. There are uh, shops that have been shut, uh, McD over here absolutely shut but there are other local uh, domestic market uh, of, uh, you, uh, of Russia that continues to be open and uh, if you're in Moscow you will not feel like this is a country that is under tremendous amount of sanctions. Uh, this, uh, the, the streets over here full of people who are walking up and down, uh, going to offices, uh, restaurants are open, local shops are open, uh, groceries and supplies not scarce or sh there, uh, there is no shortage that is being felt right now. There are parts of Russia where there might be some shortage, uh, but reports suggest that as of now, Russia is being able to handle uh, the markets uh, and the domestic situation. Should the conflict continue, will Russia then be able to sustain its economy is the big question, Sneha. Yes. You know, Gita, also, there have been several requests, and this has happened in the past as well, for president-level talks between Zelensky and Putin, something that Russia really isn't keen on. Having said that, where can we see the talks headed? Six rounds of talks have failed. Well, uh, a very important pertinent question, uh, 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 Sneha, the fact that President Putin will only come to the talking table uh, if there is forward movement. We were speaking to a researcher over here. Look at that. People looking into the uh, window of the McDonald's store, uh, whether if it's open or not, uh, just to see whether if they can go in. Or for that matter, a little inquisitive uh, uh, on the fact that uh, uh, the restaurant or the food, uh, food outlet is shut. Uh, coming back to your question, uh, President Putin, uh, Sneha, will only go to a talking table with President Zelensky if there is forward movement and if they come out with a solution and there, the photo op means that there is a solution and resolution to the crisis. If that does not happen, if there's no forward movement at the chief negotiator level talks that are underway or for that matter foreign minister level talks, uh, then he's not going to come only for the talks to be uh, declared failed. Uh, that is not a headline that President Putin would want. So negotiations at present level at this point in time looks uh, a little far-fetched. Uh, we'll again have to wait and, see, uh, wait and see what Moscow's reaction to the proposal is going to be. Having said that, uh, the demands of Moscow remain the same. Neutrality of Ukraine is, uh, is, is, is a, a non-negotiable demand and one that uh, um, uh, comprises uh, Russia's security. Uh, questions about why is there a need for expansion yes. of NATO. This even as Boris Johnson, the UK uh, Prime Minister, has already come out and said that they are, Ukraine will not be joining uh, NATO anytime soon. President Zelensky, understanding the importance, said that Ukraine and the people of Ukraine should understand that NATO is not as open uh, as it claims to be. So there are a lot, there's a lot of understanding now and recognition and acknowledgement of what's the real situation yes, on the ground with regards to NATO. And in that, whether if negotiations can move forward with regards to NATO is the big question. Yes, we'll know on Friday, Geeta. Thank you so much for getting us up to speed with that.